gamers of the internet, we're back with Danganronpa V3. Oh shit, I'm really rusty with this. Wow, sorry Ben. <laughs> what? So it's your fault. You guys are telling me so V3 and made me say V3 is It's, it's, ne it's never my fault. No, shut up, Killing Harmony. We're back. <laughs> so Shuichi has outlined the plan. The plan. The plan is victory. The we're, plan is victory. We're the gonna plan is to catch the culprit. Yeah, we're just. Oh fuck! And we said that we're gonna. Yes, we're who gonna, gonna guess. Do. Who we're doing it now? Like, or are we gonna wait, wait a little bit? I don't know. I'm scared if we wait too much longer. We're oh, gonna get man, fucked over. The tension's over. kidding me a little bit. Not gonna lie. I mean, oh, it's been gonna... so many parts now. I'm pretty sure someone's gonna croak. I feel like someone's gonna get fucked in a minute. Oh, like, yes. it seems like this could be where they get. Killed. Oh fuck, do we guess now? I don't know. I don't know because it's tonight, isn't it? And tonight's yeah. when the shit's gonna oh. hit the proverbial fan. Oh mate. And by shit, I mean pink blood. Uh, hello, Shuichi. I have no idea who it's gonna be still. It's because of something. Something that's only here. I'm getting nervous, man. Oh. We got an open door. This doesn't seem like the other reason. Oh, something that's here? We've destroyed the space. Oh! <gasps> you missed our chair! No stragglers. I think we leave now, and that's it. That one the reason was. Oh no, I had to. I forgot to look at stuff. Oh! There's an oh, air vent here. Air vent? Interesting. Hang on, how do I do Batman detective mode? There we go. There's an air vent there. Yeah, there is indeed. Is that is this a vent? That's It's connected to the library in the basement and you recognize the smell immediately. Mm. <clears throat> the smell? After Shuichi told me that I leaned in closer to the vent. <laughs> oh! It smells like musty old books! Does this lead to the library? Well. Probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. Oh? Okay. Remember. Remember the duct we noticed in the basement hallway? Near these here. I see. Huh. But a vent in the classroom? That's an odd design choice for a school. Then again, everything about this school is uh, odd. Uh, yeah. This vent is the other reason I chose this specific classroom to keep watch. This vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit. We should watch this carefully too. Oh boy, a human sized vent. Someone's going to be solid snake in their way through this. Oh my god. <laughs> I can see I can see it being a um, fucking uh, Kokichi little shit. Because <laughs> he's through the small. fucking vents. Hey man, let's prejudice against small people. Or it could be, it could even be him a girl, she could fit. <laughs> what, like I said, hey, anyone could fit in there. It says human size, probably, I doubt Gonta can fit through there, but no, everyone Gonta else probably can. can. There. Yeah. Unless Gonta can just like, I don't know, maybe he waxes himself while ground to keep a witty. Just like, <laughs> slips through there. Not wax, sorry, Jeez. grease. Oh, grease himself. Grease up, Gonta then. up! And Kurumi's like, <laughs> okie dokie. <laughs> I don't think I could fit through there. Or maybe I could, but it'd be tough. Yeah. Well, I guess this is the perfect spot to keep a lookout. Anyway, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. I'm getting so nervous. Yeah, me too. My heart's beating kind of fast, actually. Shouldn't we maybe... Oh, I died. I died. I mean, you can make yours now. I'm going to I'm gonna be a little risk taker. And wait oh, no, a bit I'm not longer. ready yet. I still think maybe there might be a little bit more. Alright. <laughs> Fair uh, enough. Uh, I'll give it a few more minutes. <laughs> if I need time to set our plan in motion. They haven't even set up the camera yet though, so it's no. like... So... Uh, I'm getting nervous. <clears throat> My heart is racing. Yeah, I feel you. Okay, yeah, so uh, now that's it. I think we leave. Yeah. What? Don't we want to talk to him? We already talked to him, haven't we? No, not yeah. after we talk, spoke to the vent. Oh my god. Alright then, we'll talk to them again. Oh, I can't even go in. 
Oh, missing dialogue, Jack. Oh, come on. There's probably just repeat text though in this game. This ain't fucking Dark Souls. Come on. We can't let the others see the cameras. No, it's not. So we should hurry to the library. Yeah. You hear any sinister. Okay, actually, shut up. No, sinister laughter <laughs> is probably a thing, but you know. Can't hear him on a Kuma laugh in the distance. Yeah, I can. Then go hollow out there, Monokuma. Alright, uh, well, uh, they didn't let us in the game room before, so I'll check in here, see if there are any Monocobs. Oh, never mind. Monocobs? Hit a Monokumas. We can't let the others see the cameras, so we should hurry to the library. I don't want to see the Monocobs. Fuck those guys. Fuck! Oh, mate, why is someone already dead? Nah. I feel like they got our setup for the cameras and the equipment and shit before someone literally croaks here. Oh. If the music goes off, I'm sorry to fucking cry. See, it's fine. <sighs> Just trusting my instincts here a little bit. We're trying to. The best I can. So, where did you want to place the cameras? You're right. This ain't the one linked to the receiver at the moving bookcase. If you place the security sensor on the bookcase itself, then when it opens, the receiver will let us know. That's good. And did we place the camera to face the moving bookcase? Yes, the camera should capture the exact moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. Then, where are we putting the other two sensors? Well, there are two entrances to the library. The front entrance near the stairs, and the rear entrance to the hallway. This is fucking important, isn't it? I can tell. <laughs> two entrances are always going to complicate things. Let's aim one eight. at each entrance. Uh -huh. That way you will have pictures of everyone who enters the library. This dude, it's through each is really small, isn't it? Well, How you've got to be thorough. Over there. Over where? Oh. Over oh, then. That leads to the classroom? Oh, Didn't you yeah. say a person could fit through the vent that connects to the classroom? Wait, shouldn't we make sure a person could actually fit That's... through it? I think he'll be fine, since he'll be keeping watch in the classroom. Hyde just wants to go and do solid snake in the vent. <laughs> Put on the bandana and give her a <laughs> facial hair. But then the clapping of our arse cheeks uh, might alert oh. the mastermind, so we better oh, not. Jesus. He's dummy thick in that sense. But we should investigate we... a little more, just in case. But we can't reach that high. Hmm. We need someone to stand on. Someone to stand on. I'll stand someone. on you, Shuichi. Go on. <laughs> Fucking hell, Kaede. Uh... We need someone to stand on. <laughs> We could just use a fucking ladder over there. Pass it off like it's her mistake then. Wait, did it, did she say something? Hey. Like yeah. Someone? yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were trying to stall it out, but you legit thought she said someone. That's quite funny. Yeah, oh, fuck. By the way, Kaide, what happened with the fight in the dining hall? Is everything okay? Uh, it wasn't really a fight. Ryoma had just suggested that we kill him. Yeah, nothing yeah. too serious. Just, yeah, nothing that serious. Yeah, kill just... him? <laughs> <laughs> no one agreed to it, of course. And then Rantara suddenly said he would end yeah. the game. With a really creepy face. The game? Does Rantara even know how to do that? I don't think so. He probably just said that to stop Ryoma. Anyways, why we don't have time to worry about that. This plan is more important right now. Yeah, yes, definitely. The plan. The plan is victory. So I'm assuming that I click on the ladder so it's that something to stand on. What about that globe? Oh, it's too late now. Oh, I can probably use this ladder. Oh. What? I positioned the ladder below the vent and climbed up, so she didn't use Shoichi then. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> now that I'm up here, this is pretty high. It's kind of scary. I feel you, Kaede. As soon as I go up a single step on a step ladder, I already get the heebie-jeebies. My damn phobia of heights. Do you want to switch? Oh man. Nah, I'm fine. By the way, can you see my um? Delicates? Oh. Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, oops. Sorry. 
did see them. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> the face. Oh well, whatever. I like it. He can't unsee them anyways. This is a vent. Oops, you saw my Nicky Wicks. Well, you know. <laughs> I hope maybe hopefully you got a good view of them, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Normally, if that was like any other anime, she'd be like, "Ew, bad, what's the guy hentai?" But she's just like, eh, oh. "Hentai, Jesus." Yeah, guess, guess you saw. Yeah, hentai means pervert in Japan, I believe. Oh right. Yeah, this time she's like, "Eh, well, you know, guess you saw him." Well, she, she didn't really it. swing that way, did she? What? I mean, I feel like she would be more like shy if it was a girl who saw them. I think that she's. Swam both ways. Oh, I don't thing. know. I actually don't There's know. only the one Samugi introduction. That's true, yeah. But yeah, I like how she's just nonchalantly being like, meh, I guess he's the That's a whatever. very normal reaction, though. Yeah, it's kind of like, oh, we saw them shit. Oh, well. Yeah. Like, she's not like, ew, I'm like, throwing books at him or some shit. That would have been funny, though. Yeah, it would, uh, you know, if you're into that kind of like high school uh, slice of life bullcrap. Only, only, it depends, like, if it's, like, animated well or not. <laughs> yeah, true. That does, yeah, that does count, yeah. And if Shirichi was actually, like, trying to look under there as well, like, oh, ho, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah, you deserve it. But yeah, still you sir, so whatever. No, yeah, it's fine. There's a grate covering the vent, so I don't think anyone can go through. Okay, so they can't get through. Can I take the grate off? Okay. There we go. Oh, the grate came off pretty easily. Did you break something, oh. Kaede? Um, no. I didn't break it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I saw the look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a class. Ah, it's by the charm. I pushed the grate into the duct. Then I lifted my body and looked inside. So how's it rock? What if someone's dead there? already inside there? Oh my god, we're just a fucking dead cookie. She's stuck inside the vent. <laughs> Jeez. Mm, how's difficult. it look? But you might be able to crawl through. I can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way though. Well, you'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom. Okay. So that should be okay, mm. right? Just in case, I'll stack more books mm. around the vent so no one can get through. They're safe and sorry, yeah. And Vince gonna come into play one way or another, I can tell. Oh, I, I see it as well. Mm. With that, I began to arrange the books around the vent. After I finished stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. Also, can I just say I really fucking hear Anne in her voice now after being pained for so long. <laughs> yeah, it's Erica Harlot, sure, right? Yeah. Also plays a girl who is like, oh, you're fucking uh, oogling me in a bikini. Ha ha, yeah, I'm pretty hot, right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Jab that same reaction, no. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's yeah. wrong. Oh, this will work. This will definitely work. Huh? Got it. I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yeah, it will definitely will. This plan perfectly composed like Chopin's ballads. Oh God, no. which oh, one? References. I actually really like complicated contra. Contraptions. Contraptions like Ruben's Goldsberg machine and stuff. I know that! Yeah. I actually know I know what she's talking about. The little it... like you know when you when you set up, like you know mousetrap. Like yeah. the whole like mousetrap thing, the Ruben that sort of uh, thing is what she's talking about. Musical mousetraps? No, I think it's not a, a musical reference. I think that was like an actual like reference to a machine like you know one of those like crazy like the ball rolls knocks this yes. that rolls over sounds steampunky <laughs> what sounds steampunky no it's if it's like engine the... powered sorry my my, it... my my imagination is getting the better of me <laughs> damn but you know what i'm talking about and it all comes to like making some like 
really basic thing like a piece of toast or something. Uh, I'll look it up on Google later. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm positive this will work. This setup is perfect. Uh, um, Do you really think so? Of course. Of course. We'll definitely catch the mastermind and then we'll all escape. Oh. So let's hurry and set up the cameras. Yes, so I think it would be a good idea to set up the cameras between books so that... Oh, hold on. I had an idea while I was on top of the bookcase. What if we place a camera up there? I'm sure the mastermind wouldn't notice it. Oh. Isn't he up? Oh, with all the books stacked on top, I don't know if there's room for the camera. You know? Then I'll test it out while you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. Okay. I'll organize the books on top of the bookcase and see if I can make room for a camera. Right. That way, we won't waste any time, right? Okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Alright. Oh. Alright then, let's do it! Okay, oh. we're we're doing we're doing prep. We're getting there. I climbed up the ladder and looked at the top of the bookcase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of books. That's a lot of JPEGs. Mate. That is a lot of books. Hmm. There are way more books here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered end to end with cluttered stack the books. All right. This is nothing. As I moved the ladder, I recognized the books bit by bit. Very organized. <gasps> I'll be honest. Whoops. Just make sure you save that copy of the Bomb Insider. <gasps> what, the sequel? Yeah. She found it? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Jeez, there are too many books. It might be too hard to set up a camera here. Hmm, I thought so. Wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Kylie, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's alright. Yeah, she's definitely a protagonist. She puts her on everything, right? <laughs> I continued moving the ladder as I kept recognizing the book. Reorganizing. Reorganizing. Damn it! That fucking <laughs> word. Reorganizing. It's Ugh. okay. I'm here for you, bud. Oh my god! What? She oh yeah. Reorganized. Wow! Holy crap! Can I have her in my room? Can Fuck you me, clean man. my house, please? Yeah. <laughs> and Karumi's just crying in the corner as we say that. Oh god. <laughs> Jeez. These books are so heavy. What is this? An encyclopedia? I flipped open the book. The bomb inside her too! There oh you my go. god! It has been two weeks since I started my new life at New Hope's Peak. I was sitting at my desk as always, making sure to have bare minimal interaction with any of my classmates. It was going relatively well, but I should have expected as much when you have a talent like mine. The ultimate. Danger to society. I had a simple pattern really. I would get out of bed, go to school. Sit way at the back of the room away from all the other students. Only speak if I was called in to give an answer. It was simple and safe. Well, it was until the classroom door swung open that Monday morning and a girl with the most radiant, violent, wavy hair running down all the way to her shoulders stepped into the classroom. She introduced herself. Hello, my name is Ari Fukawa, and I don't have any talent. I'm just a normal girl, and I hope we can. She stopped mid-sentence, locked her purple and red eyes onto me, and proclaimed she wanted to sit next to the pretty boy in the back. She strolled across the room to my desk. Without warning, she even leaned across my desk and went for a kiss. I jumped back as she let loose a frightening laugh. <laughs> There was nothing new about this girl. And the bombs inside me knew it too. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's your chance. <laughs> oh boy. We 
Great. There you go. What scared it was gonna be uh, how to RKO two unsuspecting British lads by Randy Wharton for a second. Oh god. <laughs> oh, That's okay. also a deadly book. <laughs> Is this really the time to read a book? <laughs> Got all the summoning instructions in it and everything. Yeah, man, that's a lot of consumption of alcohol. I got distracted easily when I'm organizing things. After I made that excuse, I rushed to reorganize the heavy books and burn. Looks like there are too many books after all. You can't really make space, can you? It'd be easy if I could move them to the ground, but that would look suspicious. You're right. Yeah, we have to it minimize the risk of the really mastermind. It's really that you reorganize the them. Sorry, what were you saying? I, I, was... I was just reading the line. Oh, right, sorry. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, it already looks super suspicious now that they're all neatly organized like that. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> kind of. I don't think people are gonna pay attention to them just because they're books in our library. Yeah, Well, they're just true. books. In a library, you know? Unless unless people came in here beforehand and like saw how badly like unorganized. Yeah, they that's were. true. They saw it all like to shit and like it was before. It's like, oh it's all organized, wouldn't that actually I draw think... more attention to it? Yeah, I don't think you should have touched really touched them because like if the mastermind comes in and sees the books are all like fucking organized, that's gonna, gonna ring an alarm. What isn't the fuck? Yeah, what are you, what's going on here? Yeah, like, you might as well hide the camera and just I know it's a mess, but it, I'm sure there are like gaps here and there where you can put it in that mess, you know? Yeah. Mm. Alright. And I guess I Oh bet... sorry, I thought you read it already. Well, well it's fine, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> you look oddly happy. Mm, no, I don't. If we put them on top of the bookcase, the angle wouldn't cry at reach. Ah, and here I thought it'd be a good idea. It's right? so about the places to put the cameras. Two hours. Oh, we got diagrams. Oh yeah, this is DRI. Right. And look, it's a PNG. You can tell by the, the square background on the Photoshop <laughs> document. What are you looking at this on the computer? Yeah. We have got Photoshop software as a gift. Maybe we're looking oh, at true, that. true, yeah. <laughs> we decided <laughs> to place a security sensor on top of the moving bookcase. Someone okay. guessing that flashing dot is the security sensor. Yeah, I'm assuming so. And the camera link to it will be set. Well, I'm thinking real hard about this because I know this is going to be a fucking thing in the trial. It is. Why are you showing us a diagram already? Look at this. Uh, it's like, That's it's the angle. Basically homework. And that's the cone of like the Metal Gear Solid like like distance. What was that noise? That way it will capture the moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. I see. But hold on. One second. Which way does that bookcase shelf open up? Because if it opens up that way, won't it block the view of the camera? I wish I could see you when you say that way, but you're not on my bed right now, man. Fuck. Um to the <laughs> to the left. Yeah. Like if it, go, it, if it swings open, left, the, won't it block the view of the camera? It flapped open to the left. I don't think it's that big though, so the camera might still be able no, to see yeah, it. No, yeah, probably could still see it, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna place the two other cameras near the exit and entrance, right? I suppose so. I think here and this bookcase is good. Oh, there you go. So, oh, okay, we've, yeah. we've got most angles except for like, bang on in the middle. Yeah. They would have to pass by here, no matter which door they used. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, alright. So sensor, cameras, and uh, a laugh thingy, my Bob. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Th okay. Then I'll set up the camera that connects to the security sensor. I'll say it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. I will set the cameras near each door. Oh, I almost forgot. I bought duct tape from the warehouse. You can use this. <laughs> duct tape? That's yeah. important. Thanks. That's totally an important item. Oh, my heart's beating real fast. Mate. Ugh. With that, we've got to work. <laughs> I miraculously, miraculously. placed... 
Tom, damn it, meticulously placed the cameras in the gaps of the bookshelf. We need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. Okay. I better use a lot of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of play or position. But too much makes it look bay. I assume they're gonna make them a bit more conspicuous after the display. <laughs> yeah, because they look really, really in, like sticking out right now. The green now. just kind of sticks out among the, the myriad of brown and dry yeah. colours, you know? You've got puke the green literally just sticking out like a sore thumb. Yeah, these cameras are important, so I've got to do it right. Alright, that should do it. I'm finished too. Oh, for fuck me. Oh. You alright, Ben? <laughs> I'm, I'm so nervous now, because I definitely think someone's going to get the boot. Yeah, me too. Me too. Now, now that it's all set up, it's becoming all the more real that it's going to happen soon, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, no matter which entrance they use, the mastermind will be caught on camera. And if they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that. Okay, so uh, the only way they can basically get through this undetected by the cameras is for the vent. But we're luckily we're keeping track of the vent. So uh, yeah. that, that's right, that's covered. So uh, yeah, this, um, this this should do it, I assume. And if they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that. And signal this receiver. Mm -hmm. Camera, sensor, receiver. Okay. And at that moment, the camera attached to the sensor will snap the critical picture. Oh man, like a room Wait, but CCTV, if someone does it's get pretty killed. Cool. Wait, but Joe, mm -hmm. if someone does get killed, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't Monokuma say no class trial? Yeah, but we still don't want anyone to die. I'm, 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 I'm really curious if, if this is even gonna lead to a class trial then. Might not, DR might throw like a bait and switch. Even though they've said no class trial, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Um. Cause it'd be kind of weird if someone dies when there's no class and trial. And then there's no class trial and they set this all up. Yeah, like we're going, oh like, yeah, it's my class I'm... trial. Monokuma's like, yeah, but there's no class trial. <laughs> I, 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 oh, I, I, <laughs> and chapter one just carries on. It just oh goes on to chapter two. That'd be insane. Oh, that's that would be really weird. And also kind of sucky because it's been forever since we've had a trial. That that would be really strange if they do that. Yeah. Yeah, this should do it. No doubt about it. <clears throat> this plan will probably work. No, Kyle, it will definitely, right? No, not just probably. It will definitely work. There you go. Ooh. See, I was even thinking like her for a second. There is no try. All right, then, the final step. Turn the sensors on. Oh, right. We should turn them on before we All leave. Right. They're very lucky no one walked in on them while they were doing this. Yeah, they took ages. There's a 10 second delay as it starts up, so we have to leave quick. Yeah. Uh, that's important. So they gotta get the fuck out of out Dodge as soon as they set it up. Right. Otherwise, their plan's ruined. Of, it'll be a waste of film if it took our pictures. Fuck. They have so to they throw them away if they do. They literally press the sensor and <laughs> dive out the door. They'll have to throw away the furry cameras if they do that. Oh my that's god. Not good. They literally got to press the sensor and then like act like a bomb's going off and run literally out. Literally got a nigger on the yo the head out of there. <laughs> After setting our trap and powering on the cameras attached to the sensor, we clicked quickly exited the library. I'd laugh if she just slipped or something because she oh, was right. Lost, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're good. We're out. Now we wait for the mastermind to show themselves. Okay. There's still some time left. Do you want to go see anybody? No. Oh. No, I'd rather focus on the plan. Besides, I'm sure everyone else is safe. Plus, once we get out of here, I'll have all the time in the world to see them. That's true. Well, let's go to the classroom. Oh my god. Um, okay, uh, this is gonna um, happen real soon, I'm, I'm assuming. <laughs> mate, 
Oh, no, it's not clear on anyone who it could be, though. Ah, uh, my suspects so far that could buy it are, um... I've got no one. Oh, uh, Ryoma, because he seemed kind of gung-ho about just offering himself for everyone. Um, True. Rantaro, because he said, I'm going to end the kidding game in some mm. way. Like, he's going to get involved in some shape or form. Mew, mm. because she set up the cameras. Or she could be the murderer, which would be insane. But also makes sense, because she kind of helps set this up. Um, mm. Or maybe Shuichi. That'd be kind of insane if fucking Shuichi bites it. Fuck. They're all, they're all really viable options. They're the only ones who've really got involved in this whole thing so yeah, far, really. The, 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 those four And then the only other one think. is, like, Angie, but not really. She, not really. she just kind of said, oh, there's a fight going on. And it's like... Yeah. Oh, we've got to make a guess though, really. <laughs> oh shit, look, it's sunset outside. Oh, I think we should stop it here. What? It's only 29 minutes. Really? Oh yeah. shit, I thought it was the longer part. Nope. Okay, um, uh, maybe we should make a guess though. Okay. Uh, put this thing up. Put the, the thing up? guessing thing up. Me? What? You gotta put the, the suspects up. Well, you mean there's like, like an edit? Like, I mean, like, the list of people. Oh, I just told you my suspects. Oh, yeah, no, I know, but, I mean, like, oh, I, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I'll just do it as an edit, fuck it. Okay, um... I can't, uh, I, this, ain't, this ain't a live stream, I thought you can't put images on the... the no, page. I'll do it as an edit, it's fine, don't worry. I just meant to go onto the, the profiles so I could look at them, like, whatever. Okay. I mean, I know who they are, anyway. Yeah. Um... Mmm... Oh, uh, Do I- do I guess now? Okay, fuck it. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna take a guess. Okay, go for it. Uh, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go... With Rantaro. You think? Yeah. Why is that? Just because he's like, I can- I think I can end it. Or some shit. You know what, Ben? Yeah. I think the same thing. You're going with Rantara as well? I kind of suspect that Rantara might buy because, I mean, uh, like, Danganronpa does nuts things, right? Where yeah. if you know too much, you're kind of got a death flag almost. So um, the fact that he's... He, he kind of wants to interfere, doesn't know how, but still uh, is kind of wanting to do it. He stands think... out a little bit, and that would be insane too, because like, we want to talk to Rantara to get info out of him, but he's not telling us. So I would say would it be if he just died and, and we just get nothing from him because he's dead. I, I feel like it might be him as well, also because of the whole memory thing. Like you said, like he might know a little bit too much. Maybe yeah. he knows about the whole like working with Monokuma bullshit. Yeah, that's the thing because usually uh, when when you know too much uh, in the really Danganronpa danger. game, it's usually like chapter five or six or late chapter. Yeah, this is chapter like, one. I feel like yeah. Rantaro is going through every single chapter, going, "I'm gonna stop the kidding game." Yeah, so because we're I know both shit. Gonna lock that's, in Rantaro then. That might be a bit like because. I feel like he just get. I don't know his position in all that just feels like weird because he could either get killed by the mastermind or. I, just, I feel like he just, knows too much as well. He feels like, too. He, when, I feel like he knows thing, too much too wordy. And yeah, and I feel like also the way he was like, "I'm gonna end it." Like, okay. You're just what? asking like, to bring trouble. Yeah, like. I, I feel like I feel like it's gonna be Rantaro. Especially I if it's a method I'm that we don't Rantaro. know about either. I think I, I'm locking in Rantaro. Thanks, I'll be there with you. All right. All right. So uh, Joe and Ben think it's Rantaro. Yep. We think he's gonna die. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. God, that'd Locked be nuts. Like, no going it, back. It makes sense, but also holy shit if he does die. Yeah. <laughs> Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. I thought Danganronpa's gonna pull something or they're just gonna kill the guard the most information early on. You know what I mean? 
It, 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 I can see it happening. It I will make sense for him to last for that long in the future chapters either. Because yeah. like he's got a plan. So like is the plan gonna last for the like the span of like the whole game? Does he get new ones? It's like Yeah, that's not yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we're, we're both going with Rantaro. God, we're both nervous about this. I feel. If he if he does die, that's kind of a shame. I did want to actually spend time with him at one point. Yeah. <laughs> my heart felt like it would be out of my chest at any moment. Then, let's keep the door open a little so we can see anyone going to the basement. Oh fuck me! It's gonna happen, isn't it? I can feel it. It's sunset. Yeah. They said tonight at ten. Sunset yeah. could mean like six o'clock uh, or later oh. to, to me, so uh, yeah. Uh, um... Oh, Kaide, about a security sensor receiver. Wanna know hey. something really weird, Joe? Oh no. It's sunset right now. Oh, I've got a nice sunset. While we're That's actually playing the game, I've oh, got man. sunset going on right I've now. I've got my I've got my dingy main room, so I can't see any sun unfortunately. Oh, you can't see the sunset? Uh, only in the game. Oh. Whereas you've got the big glass dome of yeah. where nature is everywhere except for inside. Yeah. Could you hold on to it, please? I just feel like you'd be better suited for that than me. Oh, you can't watch the sunset with me, man. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, there's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No. No, you hold on to it, Shuichi. You're the one who came up with the plan, and I trust you. Ben? Also, Shuichi. You just said I'm better than you at something. Why did you say things like that anyway? Because he's unconfident. You can just tell by his demeanor. Huh? Aww. What? You know? I guess it's good that we have some time left because I want to talk to you about uh, that. Um, oh my Dr. god, Kaide's giving me? him like, you should be more confident in yourself, sort of thing. Well, before we do that. Oh, oh no, nothing? No. No, surely! <laughs> Monocoins! Oh shit! It's dusk already. You are bored, aren't you? What the fuck? Ah, that wasn't. That wasn't there before. That was another me- What the fuck? A black there, was, that was... there was a different message. Yeah, there. it was like, oh, before. Ha -ha, like Monokuma. What lot. the shit? Oh god, Monokuma's that's- fucking watching this. That's creepy as shit, man. He must be uh. setting these messages off. Yeah, uh, oh no, the fact that he's- that That's kind of like a clue that he's watching us, so. I don't know about this mastermind thing, dude, and I don't think this is gonna work. Oh my god. It's chapter one, this is gonna end poorly in some shape or form, I can feel it in my nutsack. Yeah. Some bad stuff's gonna go down. I'm so oh, nervous, man. man. God, it's Pokemon Nuzlocke vibes all over again, Jesus yes. shit. It might as well be, because if we get it wrong, we're downing. Yeah, and permadeath's a thing too, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Just, there's no burial for that person. Nope. The only difference. <laughs> All right, a blackboard that's also an LCD screen, huh? I find it's more off-putting than cool. Especially that some fucking message got. Fucking. Don't know it... if that's creepy. That's really weird. Sure, oh. you told me. You know. It's probably none of my business, but I think you should be more what? confident. Especially since you're the ultimate... The ultimate in initiative. Initiative selected. You are the ultimate yeah. detective. No, really. I should be the ultimate detective. I'm not even a real detective. What? What do you mean you're not a real detective? You're a phony? You're a big fat phony? What do you mean? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm... I love how she said what do you mean, then I'm like, what do you mean? All new track. Huh? I didn't even really want to be a detective. Moon oh. on the wall. Oh, not smoke on the wall. Ooh. My uncle runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out. As an apprentice. Yeah, we got some info from your FTE, didn't we? Yeah. He was usually just cheating couples, background checks. But 
But one day, I came across a murder case, completely by chance. Uh, um, oh shit. I solved it before the police did. They called me the boy detective. When, when does Kyoko uh, come in all of this? Because she's the ultimate detective too, right? <laughs> There's no, no, no talk about the Kirigiri family, maybe? What if, what if they're related? I mean, uh, Saihara. That's what I, what I got scouted by the Ultimate Initiative. Though, I only solved one case. What? Fantastic, so got... Ben. I really enjoyed your voice acting for Oh, Shui fuck, Chiba. I'm really sorry. It's okay. That's <sighs> when I got scouted by the Ultimate Initiative. But I only solved one case. <laughs> So he only sold one case and he got scouted just for that one case. One big case. All it takes is one uh no. good day in, in 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 this context. Wow. Even so, it's still amazing that you solved the murder case. Most no. people can't even can't do that. I wonder. I wonder if uh it was really a good thing I solved that case. Hmm. hmm. I mean, I, I see his oh, point. Bro. Whoa! <laughs> Damn, that's one angry naked dude. Holy shit. <laughs> the look at his face when we call him. You can still see it even now. He stared at me. Like he hated me more than anything else in the world. Ah, oh, you fucking meddling kids. Oh my god. Scooby Doo. He murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. Oh fuck! You serious? Oh. Shit. The victim was abusive. Wow. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. Ooh. Oh shit. They told me the culprit was right to do what he did. The victim deserved it. But I led the police what? right to him. Of course he hated me. So he stopped someone's justice. I mean, that's such a gray area. Oh, I completely forgot Danganronpa likes to go into these, like, heavy fucking grey areas of things. Yeah, that's what we signed up for. Yeah. Grey area with a very grey man. <laughs> yeah. So... That's not true. Ouch. Yeah, I mean, uh, he, uh, uncovered the truth. Hmm. That's for sure. It's not like you took sides. You uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, right? Yeah, exactly. I uncovered the truth, which makes it my fault. And I'm still suffering from the consequences. I'm... Ever since that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. Oh fuck, so he's kind of got PTSD from actually doing his job. That's kind oh, of. Ooh. That's Ooh. Never forget those eyes, the hatred, the way they stared into me. Uh, um... Man, how anyway, <laughs> that's why I have trouble looking people in the eye sometimes. So that explains oh. his own cult and demeanor. Then, yeah, I oh, believe it. That's kind of. I can totally get why you would be unconfident, like in in like trusting people after something like that. Yeah, it's just... a PTSD kind of thing. Yeah. it's a traumatic thing where he's just basically like, is that really like a j justice to him? Though? Because you can't rob mm. someone else's justice in a way. But that other person, well, the way I look at it, is like he was just doing his job, and if like, if he didn't stop it, then that other person would have got murdered. Granted, the other person sounds like a complete freaking horrible person as well, but again, that's but, great. So um, yeah, it all depends really. But it sounds of things, that person who would be murdered sounds like he might have kind of deserved it because holy shit, yeah, but, all that yeah, abuse and that, stuff. Yeah, but is that his call to like? make like oh it's the justice system that he works for yeah exactly and then uh he just got pulled in really deep with it because oh well done you solved the murder case dude well done yeah and he's like oh but what if that was not the right thing because i'm a... so yeah. yeah oh shit poor sword yeah that's uh that's unfortunate for shuichi i kind of feel bad for him that's uh that's a yeah. kind of a not a great mm. psychological card to be dealt with actually <laughs> god Fuck. So that's why you wear that hat. I'm... I'm not a real detective, kind of. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? <laughs> Alright then. I noticed Shuichi's hands were trembling. Oh shit. I gently reached out and held his hand. Oh, bless you. Oh. 
Oh, look at this. Oh. There's the image. That's a cute image. It is a cute image. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Oh, Kai Day B in the Friendship is Magic protagonist girl. And it's working. It's it's bad in this in this event. Hmm, she would definitely know how to cheer someone up. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. Oh, I know that song. That's a sad song. That song makes me cry. Honestly, uh, just play, play, play a sad piano piece for me, and that's the easiest way to see that ugly cry face for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know that one. Thanks, Persona 2! Oh, that's a Persona 2 track, isn't it? Like it plays in the Velvet Room. Oh. Because you know, Velvet Room's got that. that um, classic. The classic song. Well, in Persona yeah. 2, it plays different piano pieces as well. Oh, cool. Kind of a shame. I wish it did that for the other Personas, too. You know, the Personas oh. everyone else has heard about. <laughs> yeah. But not the ones that no one's heard about before. <laughs> they play legit piano tracks on the Velvet Room, which is kind of oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's free. I've never played two. Or one. I'm a fake. I'm sorry. No, oh, it's okay. You play more SMT games, so I'll forgive you. Yeah. Yeah, super song that calms the heart. That song makes me feel sad more than anything. Oh. 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 Can't be fly me to the moon where Kaede is just spinning around in a circle. Out of the war. You noticed, huh? Yeah. Oh man, both these kids are nervous about what they're gonna do. Oh, oh my oh. god, this is making me I nervous. Mean, <laughs> I'm nervous yeah. too, Ben. Hold my hand. Oh, you can't. You're, you're far I can't. away. I'm right sorry, now. I can reach out the screen. It's <laughs> not oh. enough. I'm sorry. Oh god, don't just... do that. That's some grudge shit. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Pull me into the TV. <laughs> oh. It's a ring. It is. I wouldn't have been able to do Aww. anything. I would have been so lost. Yeah, she reaches the brains and kind of the heart, I suppose. Oh. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my oh, side. this I is feel so like wholesome. I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. So please, right. be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. I ship him. <laughs> I do as well. I ship him, I ship him. They compliment ship each him. other. Kaede is like the klutz who might get things wrong is clumsy and Shuichi's the brains to help her out. And Shuichi's young, confident dude. But Kaede's like, nah, you're cool, dude. It's fine. I'm yeah. here for you. I, I could see it. Oh, I really like that chemistry. Yeah, it's nice. It's already on, but I, I see it. Okay, I'll try. I think I like it more than Makoto's and Kyoko's. They had chemistry? I mean... I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're okay. I, I think, um... I think Makoto and Kyoko were, um, probably not my favourite pairing, to be honest. I no. liked Hajime and Chiaki, and that was kind of Yeah, silly. that was a good pairing. Um... My favourite pair in there is, is probably Nekamura and Akane, <laughs> just for entertainment <laughs> value. That's, that's valid, man. They, they were funny. <laughs> they, they push were... each other. They push each other to be better human beings and stronger. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Yeah, thing as well. Yeah, exactly. And Nekamura legit cares for Akane as well. It's, it's kind of wholesome to me. Yeah. Akane is like the loose cannon, and Nekamura is the big man who's like whipping her into shape Rangerine, and looking after her. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, I think that's my favourite pair, to be honest. It's a good pair. Yeah, I enjoy it. Yep. Oh. That's a promise. Oh, oh you dorky kids. <laughs> that definitely was a social link rank up. Mm -hmm. <sighs> After letting go of his hand, I quickly changed the subject. Wonder what um a tarot card card ever be. Moon? Yeah, that's it. Right. Hmm. Um, the lovers, maybe. I mean, that makes sense because she's voiced by her. <laughs> that's true, actually. Yeah, she was also the lovers in Persona Five. That's true. Uh, also, I think you would look way cooler if you didn't wear the hat. 
What are you oh, talking man, about? Oh man, let's see the hair. You can't get rid of the cat, man. That's his identity. Huh? I kind of want to see what he looks like, though. That's what separates the detectives from the emos, even though Did he's he kind of both. just have some long, long hair, like, in the back? Oh man, he's could you imagine? <laughs> just pumped <laughs> out. He's another Ahoge character, like <laughs> some of the other characters in this game. Oh god. He has like 10 or something. As soon as he takes the hat, just... <laughs> <laughs> porcupine hair, and it's all like Ahoge shit. Oh god. Antara has got two! I'm just oh, saying. Once we get. Oh, yeah. Once we're out of here, I want to show me what you look like without the hat, okay? Oh. Oh, that is. Uh, that means he's gonna be keeping on the hat for a long time. Yeah, I don't see this happening. Jeez, I just wanna see everyone smile. You know? I love seeing the expression people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play piano, to see the smile on everyone's oh, face. I feel like Mahiru with her photography. They oh. like taking pictures of people when they're enjoying themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's why we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. Right? So we can smile with everyone else. I actually did like the emotion just that I'm getting it carried for sometimes. <sighs> After our serious talk, we talked about this and that to kill sometimes. So nervous, dude. Mate. But... We did all we could and prepared for whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course. Oh, you all four of us are. <laughs> but we all but all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive. Oh, speaking of which, the sun's gone now. <laughs> Mate, the sun's actually gone in down now as well in real yeah. life. As the time limit drew closer and closer. I think this is my <gasps> Oh, the moment arrived! Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh mate, is this a good stopping point? It's 50 minutes in, do you want to go a bit longer? Yeah, this is a good stopping point. <laughs> oh dude, okay. I mean, uh, at least when this cutscene ends. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then suddenly, the moment arrived. Alright, this will do. Oh my god, what the fuck? What? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? What the- <laughs> Man, I'm getting shivers, the fuck is this shit? I'm getting, I'm getting Monokuma this... fear hypnosis vibes from, from, from the anime. What the fuck? That shit was legit scary <laughs> back then. That was so fucking weird. Oh, this is a good stopping point, though. Oh my god. Alright, next time on Dango V3, uh, uh, Some weird, weird shit's going on. Bye. Oh, it's gonna be a long episode. Turn the sun off! What's going on? This is not music! I, I can't do an outro like this! Make it stop! Well, huge shout out to Anik for her continued work on making the cover arts for the bomb inside him. Give her a follow on her social media, she definitely deserves it, she's so wonderful. Ah, links down below to hers and ours, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Okay, I need to go. I can't take this music. Ah!